Hi guys, welcome back to Paper Chaser TO. Today we're going to be making a explosion box chapel. Remember you can find all of the templates and written instructions on my website at paperchaser.to. So to begin building your chapel, we are first going to work on the pews. Firstly, we will begin folding on all of the score lines starting with the side of the pews, then the back, and then we're going to fold down for the back of the back of the pew and then we'll fold upwards for the seats. Then grab your glue and we'll first add it to the tabs for the side of the pew. Then we'll glue that down into place. Add some glue onto the inside section of the seat and fold it over. Then finally add another strip of glue onto the back of the seat and we're gonna sandwich the seat onto the back. And this is what you'll get once you're done gluing the pew all together. And then repeat that to the rest of them until you have 10 in total. Next, grab your sash and add some glue onto all of the points on the sash. Next, grab a pew and we will be gluing the sash onto the side of the seat. Personally, I like to glue the first and the last pew into place so that I know how to space the ones in between evenly. Now repeat that for your next set of pews. Remember, if you had glued your sash onto the right hand side of your first set, glue it now onto the left hand side. We are gluing it like such so that the aisle runner will sit in between the pews. Next we'll move on to the lid and we are going to score on all of the score lines as shown. Then add some glue onto all of the tabs and glue the arrow looking piece onto the front and the back of the lid. Now we will be moving on to the roof. This is the roof piece that will sit on top of the lid and it overhangs it quite a bit. Uh, so we will fold it in half on the score line and then fold the tabs upwards. Then we'll fold the tower piece on all of the score lines and do the same to the triangular piece that will sit on top of the tower piece. So all we will do is fold up on the triangle pieces similar to a square base pyramid and then fold down on all the tabs. The bottom tab we will fold them outwards. Now add some glue onto the tabs and we'll fold the pyramid shape into place. We will then move on to the tower piece, add some glue onto the tabs and close up that loop. Then we'll start piecing everything together, add some glue onto the tabs of the uh, pyramid shape and we'll glue the flat edge of the tower piece onto it. Next, add some glue onto the tabs of the roof piece and then we'll add the tower and the pyramid piece onto the tabs. Grab your lid piece again and add glue all over the top so that we can stick the roof onto the lid. Make sure you glue all of the edges of the lid piece nice and well so that the roof is secured properly. Now we'll move on to the box part of the explosion box. Now if you have purchased the PDF version of the template, uh, you will have to glue the box base all together. Um, I will include a link in the description box, but it's pretty much similar to my extra large explosion box. So for the outside of the explosion box, all you'll have to do is glue down the window cutouts. I did make a version of this explosion box earlier without the uh, window outlining and I thought it looked a little plain so I created the outlines just to add a little bit of color onto the outside. Now that you have all of your windows glued into place, flip your explosion box template over and we will fold along the score lines. Now we can start piecing the explosion box together. Add some glue onto the floor piece and stick that dead center into the box. Then we'll glue down our aisle runner centered towards the door. Now we're moving on to my favorite piece. This is the arc that is going to be sitting in front of the chapel. So fold along all of these score lines before adding your glue and gluing everything down into place. Once 
Once the base of the arc is all glued down, we will fold the actual arc back on itself and glue that into place. As that dries, we will grab our leafy vine piece and we'll bend the leaves up and down to give it a natural look. Then flipping it over, we'll add some glue onto the back of it and then we'll glue that right onto the face of the arc. In order to decorate your explosion box, I've included these flower cutouts. You can cut them out onto colored paper if you'd like or cut them out onto white paper and color them in with a marker. But regardless of that, in order to shape your flower up, grab something soft like an eraser and, and I'm using my score tool but you can use a empty ballpoint pen and we're going to smush the flower in order to give it that 3D look. Then using some glue and a toothpick, I'm going to add some glue dots all over the um, arc so that I can place the flowers on top. Using the same flowers, we will decorate the pews by adding flowers onto each of the uh, top parts of the sash. So in order to finally glue everything into place, we will add some glue onto the bottom and the back of the arc base piece and we will glue that to the base of the box and to the back of the panel with the large arced windows. Then grabbing your pews, we'll add some glue onto the bottom of each one and stick them into place. Remember the sash will be facing the aisle runner. And that is all for your chapel explosion box. This would be perfect as a wedding gift or even as wedding invitations. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel and thumbs up this video. Share this video with your family and friends. And as always, happy crafting and until next time, bye!